Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a simple overnight high growth spray that you can add to your regimen to help you prevent hair loss, thicken your hair and also help to promote healthy hair growth. So if you are interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching. Now before we get into the video guys, I just want to say a huge thank you if you are a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate you and if you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family and let's hop right into the video. So the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be some green tea. Now green tea contains something called EGCG. I'll write the full name down here. Um, so this essentially helps to prevent hair loss by inhibiting the activity of the hormones that induce hair loss and it also helps to promote health with growth by stimulating the hair follicles. So I added two tea bags of green tea. Now the next one will be some fenugreek seeds. Now you guys know fenugreek is definitely known to help a lot with hair growth because it's quite a good source of protein and amino acids which helps to repair the hair shaft. Um, damage due to sort of dehydration, heat styling, chemicals, sun damage or color treatments. It also helps to boost um, cuticle integration in your hair shaft thus promoting thicker hair growth. So the next one guys will be some cloves. Now for this you don't really need a lot. Um, about one tablespoon of that will be okay. Cloves again helps to thicken your hair and also it helps to prevent hair loss so super super amazing so you want to combine these three together now we're adding some water so for this quantity of ingredients i'm using three cups of water and i'm going to go ahead and bring the whole thing to the boil so you want to boil this until you notice that your fenugreek seeds have doubled in size and also that your cloves have also doubled in size essentially it shouldn't take too long for you to achieve this so i'll say about five to ten minutes will be a really good time you can also choose to infuse it overnight without necessarily having to boil but this process is a lot quicker so after you boiled it guys we're just going to go ahead and sieve it and this is what it looks like essentially you can notice that my fenugreek seeds have definitely doubled in size so after you have finished sieving it guys pop it in your spray bottle and you're good to go it is really just that simple when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun So here you have it, it is really nice and simple to make and I do hope that you guys go ahead and give this a try um, in case you're wondering about the shelf life of this, this can store in your fridge for the next three weeks and still be absolutely fine. You can also freeze it guys and defrost it and use it as in when you need it. Um, so it is super, super amazing. Now stick around because I'm going to tell you how often you should be using this and also talk about how you can use it. Um, so yeah, definitely keep on watching. So I will be using it in today's video as... Um, sort of um, conditioning spray just I can see my hair is very very dry um, so and it also needs sort of detangling essentially so I'll be using it to help sort of moisturize my hair and also help me to detangle it um, so it's always better to work in smaller sections as you always see me do just because it's much easier to manage your hair that way and also you're less likely to close any body cage essentially so after detangling that section of hair I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this throughout so starting from the ends all the way down to the roots and just make sure that every single bit of my hair is nicely saturated now if your hair is generally really dry or gets dry really quickly then it will be absolutely fine to consider also using a creamy type of leave-in conditioner like maybe i don't know Cantu or shea moisture or cream of nature like any other one that you you can that you normally use that actually works for your hair so that can help you retain moisture for a little bit longer because essentially although this was okay for my hair in terms of moisture and the moisture lasted for quite some time 
um, I'm fully aware that for some people because of the clothes in this it can be um, it, it cannot necessarily be enough so it's okay to follow with another leave-in conditioner if you want to so after I've applied this guys I'm just going in here with an oil to seal the moisture so for this I'm using my aloe vera hank of oil I've got this available on my website and I use it quite a lot and I also use it on my daughter's hair and her hair is definitely flourishing um, I also want to use this opportunity just to say a huge thank you to all of you guys who have supported me so far um, by ordering my products. I really, really appreciate you guys. Honestly, it really means a lot to have your, su your support. So yeah, if you want to check my website, feel free to do that. It will be in the description box below. I do have this oil and I've also got um, some other oil and also a, a moisturizing hair butter that you probably have seen me use in other videos So essentially if you don't have this oil, it's fine to use whatever you've got available It could be you know, just coconut oil or another DIY oil that you normally um, Make I've shared so many recipes with you guys. So feel free to use whatever rocks your boat essentially So with this oil here, I'm just must uh, applying a bit on my scalp as well and I'm just gonna massage that nicely. That's just to help with, again, just moisturizing my scalp and also um, help in promoting healthy hair growth because this contains aloe vera, rosemary, which are known to be great stimulants when it comes to hair growth. Um, so after applying that to my hair, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just um, comb just so I can properly detangle. Yeah, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Now after I finish combing that section guys, I'm just going to go ahead and twist and then move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done. Now it usually does take me quite a long time to get through my hair, um, especially when it's as dry and as tangled as it is here. Um, the reason why my hair is like this because essentially I washed it but I did not get a chance to detangle afterwards and you know seal the motion and all of that stuff. So yeah it got dry again so <laughs> um but anyways working through it as slow as i possibly can and yeah so do do take your time if you happen to be in this situation as well now in case you're wondering how often you should be using this um i would definitely suggest using it twice to three times a week um to help you regrow your hair or thicken your hair and also just to retain moisture in general um so Obviously, you don't have to like do this whole detangling process that amount of time a week because trust me, that would be so exhausting. Um, I don't usually like detangle my hair um, that often, like during the week. So I probably do it once a week or once every two weeks. It really just depends on what state my hair is in, really. Um, so some nights, what I'll do is just pray and go, like really, just that easily. So if you've got braids on or you've got cornrows or twists or whatever state your hair is in, this is one of the sprays that you can literally just spray and go. So just spray it on your scalp, you know, spray it on the rest of your hair if you can have access to it. And essentially just, just go to sleep and then carry on with your routine as you would normally. So it is very simple and really easy to, to do. And if you can have access to your scalp, it's always, always beneficial to also oil your scalp. So use a high of oil that maybe you've made or you can try some of my oils, just like I said. Um, and then essentially just apply that to your scalp. Um, and that will certainly help you a lot. So I do hope that you guys go ahead and give this a go. And if you do guys, please, please let me know how you get on. Um, I love to hear you guys feedback. Um, whether it be it positive or negative, I really don't mind. Let me know how you're getting on if you do try some of my recipes. Um, so this is pretty much it for me today. It literally just brings me to the end of the video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching so far. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section. I read them all and I will try my best to answer them as soon as I can as well. Also, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked watching. Don't forget to check my website, naturalvanesta.com and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll catch you next time.